Hi, I'm Asmul Adal from AIFL. Today we're gonna uh, continue the basic augmented reality course with OpenCV Python. So we have left, left this course about five months ago. You can see here. So the last topic was image augmentation. You can see here. This is for the last project that we did. Now the next topic is simply the camera calibration. So how to do camera calibration with OpenCV Python. So I've already done the all the scripts that, that I'm going to explain to you as well. And it will be really easy to simply cam calibrate the camera with that. And then yeah, there are some requirements that I'm going to tell you later on. And then we are going to uh, cover this uh, 3D pose estimation and distance estimation because the camera calibration is pretty much requirement for the all the uh, other simple topics that we are going to cover. So that's why we need to simply uh, need to know about the camera calibration. So let's get into that. So uh, the camera calibration part. So first of all, we need to uh, know about the camera clip. So the camera calibration. So uh, there is some distortion in your camera when you are. Uh, the, there is an example of this is simply when you are going to close your face like uh, close to your camera, it would will appear like your nose is slightly bigger than uh, your other part of face. So it would be simply uh, because of some distortion in your lens of camera. So uh, named is uh, simply you can see the barrier distortion. Then you have the opposite of that. It's like here you have this one, and then you have opposite of that. It's simply you can see this here. So basically, this is uh, the pen cushion distortion. Then you have no distortion at all. So when uh, first of all, we need to calculate the some distortion parameters, and then we're gonna utilize it to simply get the uh, this calibrated image, something like that. So here you can see this the barrier distortion, pen cushion distortion. Then you have the no distortion at all. So now the camera, uh, the another one which, which is simply uh, very much important here is simply the checkerboard checkerboard or chesserboard so this is a uh, simply pattern.png image found in your OpenCV directory when you're going to install that you will simply going to search pattern.png in the OpenCV directory you will get this image as well because you can't find this then you can simply grab this from my github repository that of this particular course so it would be named as a uh, you can see that pattern.png so this particular checkerboard size uh, has a simply size you can see this is nine by six if i can count this particular one like here one two three four five so basically these are not nine at all so one two three four five so you can see this is nine by six but they are not at six or nine at all so there are some reasons so we are not counting this uh, particular uh, you can see this these boxes but we are actually counting this intersection so like you can see this one one two three four five six seven eight nine so these are the intersection what we are counting so this is nine and then we have one two three four five six so this is nine by six basically so this is basically the detected part of this one. So you can see this, we are simply uh, obviously detecting this intersection. Here you can see this, this is another intersection. So we have this nine by six. Uh, obviously this is, uh, we are going to, when you, we are going to detect this pattern.png. So another thing you need to simply print this on the piece of, piece of paper, like here you can see this uh, pattern.png, which I will show you. So you need to simply uh, print this on the piece of paper so that you can simply calibrate the camera. So measuring the square size in the pattern.png. So when you're going to simply print this on the piece of paper, then you need to measure the size of this uh, individual one of any big uh, simply square because there will be similar size at all. And then you have this for mine, it's about 14 millimeters. So I just uh, going to include this in the script as well. So now this is pretty much the end of this presentation. So let's head over to the coding part. So first of all, I'm just going to show you this. Uh, you can see that I've just opened up a sidebar. So here you can see this in, in the camera calibration directory. So you have uh, you, uh, these two scripts. So you can see this. So basically this one is the camera calibration. So which is going to get the all the images that we have captured this uh, of the uh, chess board uh, and it's going to calibrate it. So here we're going, going to capture the, uh, the images using uh, your webcam. So first, uh, we're gonna load in here this one so i'm just going to 
or close the sidebar so this here you can see this in this we are simply importing two modules os which is built in and then the open cp so here we are defining the chess board which we are going to detect this so because it's nine by six we have simply created the topple here and then this is the number which is going to count how many uh, images we are going to capture so first of all here you can see this we are defining the path of the directory so in case the directory is available or not we are going to check this so here uh, this is the method or you can see the function in the os module so you can see the os dot path uh, dot is dir so we, means we are going to check the path is if the directory is available or not and then we you can see this this is going to tell us the true or false uh, depend, depending upon the status of directory so either is available or not so if not available then we are going to check uh, is if it is false then we are going to create the directory so here you can see this we are uh, creating directory from the os module there is uh, make the uh, directories function so uh, m make dirs so this is the function and then we need to pass the path which we are going to create the directory of so here we are going to create this directory in the images directory in the particular current path and then we are going to here uh, print this directory is created else we are simply going to say this uh, print the directory path that uh, it's already available so we can say this here and then we are setting this directory area so you can see this is the correct area so basically these are the flags required to split detect the chess support so these you can see this possibly uh, uh, the character area so term from character area e eps and then term character area max address so you can see this all these stuff here and then we are creating this function so define uh, creating function to detect the chess support so first this function text is the image and the grayscale image then criteria that we have defined here and the board dimension that's simply defined here now uh, this function what does is you're going to call the function from the OpenCV find chess board corners so it, it takes in the grayscale image in the board dimensions and if checks is either is board uh, simply the chess board is available or not so if it's available we can say this if it's true then we are going to get the corners now so we're going to call this function cv dot corner sub pixel so we need to pass here the um you can say this grayscale image and then we got the corner from this particular function find uh, just support corners and then we're going to pass here then uh, this a uh, topple three by three and then uh, we need to pass this particular one minus one so means we need to draw all the uh, corners that are detected so here you can see this and then the criteria then we are drawing this particular one uh, simply just as well so draw just as board corners so image board dimension and the corners and if it's available or not so if uh, so you can see the red so here you can see this we are returning this image and the red so red because we need this later on now uh, you can see this we are uh, defining creating here the camera object so this is really simple uh, using video capture function we need to get the camera uh, create a camera object so it, uh, we need to define here simply the camera that we have selected the index of particular camera that we have selected then this is simply a video a procedure basically the video is nothing but uh, frames running below so that's why we get this so we get here uh, the validation of the camera is available or not so we are skipping that part but we are getting the main object so we are just copying this uh, to simply uh, save this particular image that copied image so it will be not drawn over that particular frame so we need to uh, we are going to draw some breaches support so that we have detectors and uh, we can see that as well and then we have simply grayscale image so you we need to convert this so you can see we are converting this in cvt convert function then we are simply you can see this we are calling this uh, detect function so this particular function here comes detect check about so we are not passing this frame so we are we are need to draw this and grayscale image that we have converted this criteria and just both dimension that here you can see this and then we are simply uh, printing this you can see they're putting the text on the frame so it's uh, basically the number of images that we have saved so saved image you can see this is the f string and that we are passing the end here so you can see this by first we have defined this to zeros because it's going to count our images that we have saved and then we have this we are simply showing this one particular one frame and then copied frame so you can see the copied frame here copy frame 
and then we are simply to find the weight key here so uh, so we can simply control that as well so we are getting the key from the keyboard as well because this function returns on that so if the key is equal to old uh, is equal to q then we are going to break this if the key is equal to uh, old is equal to s so we and the, the board detection is still true means the uh, board is detected uh, otherwise it's not going to save this so these both statements need to be true so we need to press this s on keyboard also the board is detected so uh, then we were gonna you can say this we are going to write this particular uh, image in this particular part that we have uh, create the directory either it's available or not depend upon that and we have simply store the image in this particular one uh, we have simply basically created the uh, string here we are providing path of the image directory and then we are simply uh, naming this as an image and then num uh, we are passing the, the simply variable so that we can uh, change the each image so we can we can uh, so we need to avoid the simply rewriting the image on the same path as well so means on the same image so we have simply used this number and then we are simply saving this copied image or copied frame so which does not have written anything about it and and then we have this particular one you can see this print uh, saved images so we, uh, when we are going to save the image so it's going to print the number of image that we have saved you can see we are simply incrementing the counter here then we are simply destroying and releasing the camera and destroying the windows it's very much simple and in the end it's going to print this up all the images that we have saved so this really simple script so let me run this head over to the simply go, uh, script so first we need to run this uh, to capture the uh, simply images so i'm just going to run this so cd uh, into the camera calibration directory and then we need to run this python uh, so let me show you this script so you can see this these are two scripts so here yeah, we need to run this particular one so i'm just going to run this Python and then cam capture camera calibration. So this one particular script. So you can see this image it says the images directory is created because there was no directory available in this one. So you can see uh, there are two windows appears here. So basically one is you can see this is one uh, copied image so which does not have written anything. So if I can simply show this uh, the checkerboard so you can see this uh, basically is uh, proceed with the normalized one. Uh, now becomes normal so when i just leave this you can see it becomes really slow because it's searching for the checkerboard uh, at the same time so you can see this so this is the basically checkerboard that i have simply printed on the piece of papers i just put this uh hard paper over there so just uh once we're going to call this so that this does not flips so that's why i just put this here so let me simply uh save this image so we need to place this uh, S key on our keyboard and the board is need to be detected. So if I can simply print this S, S here, so uh, currently I'm pressed printing S, it's not going to simply uh, save this image. You can see the saved image zero, but I'm, I'm just going to put this here. So if I can simply save this right now, S, you can see this uh, image is zero is saved and then uh, counter is updated here. You can see this. So I'm just going to keep this close a match as possible and I'm just going to save these images. So you can uh, save this about uh, 25 to 40 plus images. It's up to you. Uh, it need to be greater than 15, but I'm just going to go over this. So it need to be simply in different angles like here, I'm just capturing this. Now I've just captured these images. You can see I've just closed this, just press Q. So you can see here we have almost uh, simply saved the 45 images. So you can see this. And then uh, you can see this is uh, basically in the particular direction. So it would be, if I can simply press Control B, or B here, you can see this is the image directory uh, uh, created. You can see we have simply captured the 44 images. So basically start from zero, so it would be 45 images all together you can say this we have captured this so now uh, i'm just going to go over to the another script so which is uh, you can see here if i'm just going to close this one image directory here and then you have this camera calibration uh, uh, directory i could say this or uh, the script so i'm just going to close this sidebar control p so now here you can see this is the 
basically camera calibration script so here you have this import cv2 and then we are importing the extra module which is numpy and then we are defining the you can see this uh, checkerboard size as well uh, you can suggest about dimension and then you have the square size which is uh, we have i've already discussed that that we need to measure this in the real world and then we have to simply define this so i've just measured this it, it turned out to be 14 millimeters for this and then we are simply defining the criteria so which is already discussed so this is similar logic like uh, we have simply created the images directly uh, for the uh, saving the images in that particular storing simply the images in that particular directory instead of that we are simply creating a directory where we are going to store the camera calibration data so similar logic here so here we are creating 3d object you can see this for the all the points of the chest support so it's depending upon the chest board dimension you can see this is what would be something like that so it would be zero zero and then you have this so basically uh, for the each uh, individual like you can see this zero and the zero then for the uh, third dimension for the z z it would be zero uh, for the all the there will be data available so we can create this one then we are simply applying some operations like top posing the shape then we are simply multiplying the square size to this so that we get the actual size of uh, that particular square on the 2d image then uh, the 2d data point but we are simply do not have the third one dimension here so then we are printing this as well and then we are simply creating a list for 3d object point that we are going to get uh, from this uh, just as per dimension uh, you can set just as per detection when we get the 3d points and 2d image points as well then we are simply get the image path and the file so basically the so here we have defined the image path and then we are using this image path to simply uh, get the list of all the file available in the directory then here we are using the for loop to iterate over all the files so basically not the direct path actual path but we are simply getting the file name so we are printing this file name as well and then we are simply creating a complete path so we're gonna uh, join this images and the uh, file name to get, uh, get the actual simply the path of this uh, particular image and then we are using that uh, opencv function to read this particular from that particular directory then we are converting this grayscale and uh, we are simply detecting the finding the corners that well, we did in the last scripts as well and then we are checking if it's detected or that uh, simply the uh, corners are detected or not just for corners and we are simply updating the 3d object points here and that we have created earlier and then we are simply you can see this we are getting the corners cv dot subpixels so we are getting this and we are simply putting the 2d data points here as well alongside three uh, and another list so it would be simply same uh, you can see the length of list and then we have this images we are drawing this on that so that we can see this i just i've not show this images but in case you want to see this then you can simply show this image as well and then we are simply destroying this in case we want to show this images so now the camera calibration basically it's uh, this is function in opencv which takes in the 3d object points uh, that we have created and then the 2d image points that simply the corners uh, that are the list of all these points and then we are simply getting the shape of the grayscale and then we have um, data here none, none so we need to pass here so there are these uh, simply parameters are not used here then you have this uh, we are simply printing the camera uh, so that we have calibrated the camera then we are simply saving this data and are you storing this data in the directory so that we are can see this uh, first we np dot save so this is the numpy function which is going to save this we need to pass here the path so it would be camera calibration path and the name of this matrix so it would be uh, does not have any extension so you can see this you can see this is multi matrix so by default numpy going to pass this as a uh, extension then you have distortion coefficient uh, rotation vector and then translation vector so this is uh, by the name of the variable is going to save this as well so you can see this we are post this here now you have we are simply printing this and then we are simply loading this data back uh, to see this is uh, successfully stored in the directory or not so this is for double checking now you can see this we are loading this data here so calib data and the multi matrix so we are passing this with 
extension that by default uh, numpy is going to create then we are loading this you can see the data then we are going to pass this camera matrix so that we have saved this but with particular variable is going to save this as well here then we have distortion coefficient you can see this distortion coefficient we save this with that so we are simply loading this all the data here then we have camera so we can save say this in the camera calibration data has loaded successfully and this is uh, calibrate clear so now this is the part we have it now let me run this and let show you this so i'm just going to uh, clear this here and before that i'm just going to show you here so if i can show you here you can see this here is no directly data available that we are we are creating here this game calibration data so i'm just going to run this and let me show you this so i'm just going to say python and camera calibration so camera calibration so you can see this save this particular matrix then it's loading all the images and storing the data you can see this so it's taking a bit of time to calibrate so now you can see this is uh, dumping the data into the numpy array and then you can see this the data is stored successfully and then we are loading this data back so that we can see this so it's worked really fine so now if i can show you this you can see this camera calibration data a uh, calib data is uh, directly is created you can see this is the particular one so this is the file is created so we're going to load this back as well we have already did this and we're going to use this data into the upcoming project uh, like for the test estimation in 3d post estimation as kind of stuff so this is basically it from this video tutorial in case you want to ask anything then let me know in the comment below i will try to answer that thank you so much stay safe and take care